I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. This is a great tool for cutting not only circles, but straight lines as well. A couple of observations on this tool. You'll notice that it has uh, some swivel points right here. Again, this is if you chalk down a line, you want to make sure that this point is um, adjusted properly as well as the back here. So they are both adjustable to go across the chalk line so that your blade, in fact, uh, you know, cuts a perfect straight line every time. Now, on this tool, you'll notice it has a swivel point, and the reason for the swivel is when you terminate your saw cut, it, it lifts the blade out of the saw cut, which is a very unique feature. One way that uh, you adjust this is you'll notice it comes with a, an Allen uh, attachment, and it fits down into here, and if you uh, turn it counterclockwise, what it does is it lifts this adjustment. You can see the threaded uh, section, so if it comes higher, what that means is the blade is going to cut deeper. So you can see that. Another nice feature on this tool is the fact that it does um, attach nicely to a vacuum cleaner. So it's, it's pretty much dust free when you attach this in here. So it's a great tool. What you're going to want to do is you'll notice you have the release. You'll always release this and then go ahead and uh, turn, turn it to the on switch. So the unique feature about this tool is the fact that you can cut perfect circles every time. So you'll see here it comes with attachments that can simply thread to the side and depending on the radius or the, the, the size circle that you're wanting to cut, you can simply screw in more of these attachments. So we'll just demonstrate using one pole right here. But again, if your circle is going to be larger, you simply thread in as many of the, uh, the attachments as you want. From there, what you do is it comes over to the pivot point. Once you've established the radius that you want for your circle, it's best to have somebody stand on your pivot point, and then you just simply um, work your way around using this. It's a great tool for cutting perfect circles every time. In addition, we use this pivot point for a variety of different applications. I'll show you. You can get an attachment for drawing your circles down or your radius. So not all the time will you be using that to cut. So it's the same concept. Thread this down. And in our little attachment here, we have something that's called soapstone. So if you want to lay out a circle, it's a great tool to use for simply laying out your designs as, as well as you can see here. One last tip before we show you how to use this tool, it is a good idea to make sure that your blade is adjusted at the proper depth. So you're typically uh, looking for somewhere in the vicinity of about a quarter inch depth. And so what I'll do is I'll find a hard surface, maybe it's the edge of a uh, table or the edge of a piece of concrete in this case, and I'll simply come over here and adjust it down and this will show you how deep you're cutting before you start. Always practice safe working practices. Remember, this is a high performance tool, so you'll want to wear proper uh, eye protection. Go ahead, it doesn't hurt to put on your dust mask and certainly protect your ears as well. Let's show you how this tool works. The mongoose is a great tool for cutting perfect circles as well as straight lines, but in this case what we're going to do is just create a big half arc to kind of keep with the theme of our panel here, and then we'll demonstrate how you can cut a perfect circle every time. A couple of observations, I just threw the pivot point down, uh, found a location that I wanted, and I figured we'd go right through the previously cut sections, um, and so once I found where I wanted my radius point, we uh, screwed it right into here, we tightened the wing nuts down right here, um, it is a good idea when you're using this tool, the mongoose, to have somebody stand on this as a base. The further that you get out, the further away from your uh, pivot point, certainly needs to be weighted down. You don't want this to slide during the actual cut. If I'm cutting a small one, I can do it by myself by putting the knee on, putting my knee on it, and then going. But if I get too much further, I like to have another person come on out here. So we'll turn the vacuum on and uh, show you how this works. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly, and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.